Okay, our first part is O, oh, the opinion stated clearly. What is our opinion that we can have? Remember, we cited it as a group. What is it, Asiel? Oh, that kids should have TVs in their bedrooms. That's right. Very good. So everyone's going to write that. I think, remember, use strong language, right? Yeah. I think or I believe. We're going to use I think. Right. 
parents said that having separate TVs is your arguments over what to watch. So if that's our first example, we need transition words, right, to make our thoughts flow clearly. So get out your transition paper. If it's our first example, what's a good transition word that we could use? Gauge. Remember, it's our first example. So what transition words? What happens first, next, last, right? So if it's our first one, what can we use? But gauge answer. Raise your hand. If it's our first, what should we use? Let's try again. Ossiel? First of all. Good. I like it. So first of all, Okay, what was our example? Someone read it to me. Look at your article. Look at your article. What was our first example? Someone read it to me. Go ahead. Transition words. That way it's going to be easy to put for a paragraph. That was that our first example. First of all, parents think having separate TVs leads to fewer arguments. All right, this is your turn to figure out why this example is a good reason. What's your reason? Why is we having fewer arguments a good thing? Why is having arguments a good, having few arguments a good thing? You have to give a reason for that example. Rachel? Um, um, I feel, um, wait, I, what was the question again? What is the reason that having fewer arguments is a good thing? Because we will, like, right? So we, like, won't get in trouble over arguing. Who won't get in trouble? The kids. Ah, perfect. Okay, so. How can we say that, Rachel? I feel, um, um, I feel, I feel good. No, I feel is what? Remember what you told me? Kids shouldn't have changed in the room because... No, what was your reason? Remember, here's another example. It leads to a few arguments. What's the reason behind that? Um, so the kids won't get in trouble. Yeah, I, I feel... Kids won't... I feel... Get into so much trouble. Do you guys believe that? Yeah. Yeah? How many of you guys like to bug your parents when you're watching? Well, it might be a good thing, then. And there's trouble right here. Are we done? No. no. How many reasons or examples should a nice paragraph have, an opinion paragraph? Raise your hand if you're thinking of. Selene? Six? No, just like point number. How many? Two. Two or more, right? So at least two. So we need another example. So everyone, take out your article again. What is our second example we're going to use? Someone read it. Um, 
using parental controls, right? Yeah. Remember, you have everything you need in that article. So secondly, parents can monitor what their kids are watching by using parental controls. Are we done? No. Raise your hand and tell me what comes after that. Yeah? Third. 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 We'll get the bottom of the organizer. What comes at the end? We already have our two examples and the reasons. What comes last? Rachel. Opinion. Opinion. Are we going to say another opinion, a different one? We're going to say the same one, but with what? Enthusiasm, right? Or say it in a different way. So how can we do that? Remember, our first one was, I think kids should have TVs in their bedrooms. How can we say that differently using a transition word? Yes. Based on what I know. Based on what I know. Very good. Based on knowing your what? Based on what I know without kids having TVs in the bedroom. Okay, what else? That's good. Based on what I know, remember, we're restating what we did up here. Our first opinion, but just in a different way and with enthusiasm. Based on what I know, what? What's our opinion? Raise your hand. Valley. Turn around. Let's stop right here. Turn to your partner and restate the first opinion in a different way with enthusiasm. Go. Okay, I'll turn to your partner. Excited. Enthusiasm is an excited way, right? 
well. Or you can just restate it in a different way. I'm convinced she said that. Jeremiah, that was perfect. I, I'm convinced that what? What are you convinced of? All right. We're back in three, two, one, zero. Ella, would you like to share what you and your partner had? Um, I'm convinced that kids should have to use in the bedroom. Perfect. Let's write it. Everyone write it. Is I'm convinced, is that using strong language? No. Yeah. Strong language? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, strong language, that means you're letting your readers know that your mind is made up about this. So I'm convinced.
fill out your graphic organizer, your second choreo graphic organizer. All right, and three, two, one, go. 